Buying or selling a home is one of the most important decisions you'll make in your entire life. Call the Holly Ritchie team today for a free market analysis. Hi everyone and welcome to Spanning the Need, Stories of Your Lifestyle. Today we're here to talk about the Six City Outreach Tour coming through Youngstown and beyond. God Loves You Tour sponsored by Bill Graham Village Association to talk to us about that as the Vice President of BGEA is Steve Rhodes. Thanks for joining me, Steve. Happy to do it. Good to be with you this morning. And, and, and we'll, we'll jump in a lot, and, and I appreciate you taking time. I know you guys are busy on, on the tour and, and really looking forward to kind of hitting the Midwest and, and everything along those lines. And talk to us a little bit about the tour and why it's important. Well, the, uh, the tour, actually, this particular tour, uh, Franklin Graham, who's our president and CEO, um, had on his heart, uh, got to be three and a half years ago. Um, uh, it was pre-COVID. And we had planned to do this um, during that period of time, and then COVID shut everything down. And so uh, just as soon as the clouds broke and we could get back here, we wanted to. Um, and, it, and I think it's even more urgent now at this time. The, the, um, the uh, pandemic uh, may have exposed um, something in our culture and in people's hearts that they were unaware of in the past. And first of all, it's the, the um, really the shortness of life and the, how fragile life is. And so the, the questions that people generally put off because they don't want to talk about them, which is, you know, what, what really is life? What really is the meaning of life? I mean, why am I here? And surely it can't just be just to, you know, do a job and take a vacation. There's got to be more to it than that. So is there something deeper? Is there something bigger? Those questions are still are generally bubbling under the surface in most people's hearts. But the pandemic kind of drove everything to the top. And then people experienced so much loss and there was so much fear kind of baked into that that whole time, that two year time. And then coming out of it that we find ourselves in the circumstances we are now, which is um, high inflation, kind of desperate circumstances, um, unemployment, um, confusion, and and it's it, you know it's it's difficult as everybody's watching this would know so those questions again um surface and and the answer to that is actually the the name of the tour god loves you he he loves you it's not a slogan it's a true statement god god loves you and so that that sentence which is generally most people don't think about god in those terms that he loves us is um is the reason why franklin's preaching the gospel in these six cities well and, and that's a great and you mentioned the six cities and and he was very successful with a tour back in 2016 with the decision of american tour and really hit a variety of cities and just what makes what made him pick these midwest cities it was they're just they're looking for um hey they have not been to this area um is there something special because I know Youngstown special to a lot of people. It is. It is. And I'm thrilled that Youngstown, I mean, there are, there are other places in, in Ohio where we could have gone. Columbus, where we were in 2016, as you know. Different kind of a tour, but nevertheless, or Cincinnati or Dayton or Akron, whatever. But this particular city um, has been on uh, Franklin's heart for a while. And as, as, is, as was Allentown in York, Pennsylvania, Eastern PA, where we just were. And um, um, again, I think that we've, we've had other tours. We've, we had a tour in the Northeast. Uh, we also had a, um, a recent tour across all along Route 66, Florida, North Carolina, Texas, the, the West Coast. But we've never really spent any time here. And th there's a Bible verse that says, where sin abounds, grace much more abounds, which certainly would would be a good way to think about our own lives, that when things are the hardest, that's when the gospel, which is good news that God loves us, is kind of the, mo the most, um, it's in stark contrast. And so in, in, this, in this area, we're headed to Flint next, and then Waukesha, Wisconsin, or Rochester, Minnesota. This is real. There's no, nothing phony about this part of the country. And so the reality of um, the people and the struggles that we face 
uh, Franklin Graham is, will be you know, very clear tonight here in Youngstown that the answer to that is not our circumstances. The answer is that we need something from heaven, that the, the answers to these problems are not down here. The answer comes from outside of us, outside our own ability. It comes from God. And so to go back to that main point is, um, is important and, and it's, changed, it's changing lives. We saw that change lives in Eastern PA and now really anxious to see what God's gonna do here. And, and that's great. We're, we're, you're doing a six tour city and we're coming through Youngstown now. What should people expect at the event? Um, what will be happening during that, uh, during that event? Right. Well, it's a free event, which means, you know, anybody can come and, um, and there's, there's going to be great music. We have three different musical artists, Dennis Agajanian, who's traveled with Franklin for a long time. And then the newsboys who have won multiple awards. They've been kind of the mainstream of Christian music for a couple of decades. And then also Marcos Witt, who's probably one of the most um, one of the most loved uh, Hispanic worship leaders in the world will also be here. So there's going to be great music. Um, there's a, it, I got to say, these are a lot of fun. The atmosphere is wonderful. Um, uh, I don't know what anybody would think about something like this, but when you come out, you will be, we will, you'll be sorry it's over. It's just <laughs> such a wonderful event. And then Franklin's going to stand up and he's going to explain what it means. What are the implications of the great love of God? And I think everyone would go away encouraged if you're, if you haven't, um, if you don't have a relationship with God, this will be, this will really be a, a pivotal moment in your life. And um, so we just, we're really expecting a great night. The weather's going to be wonderful. And uh, we're looking forward to being with these fine people in this corner of Ohio. It's going to be a blast. We appreciate you taking time, Steve. I know you guys are busy, um, but uh, location, time. Youngstown uh, City, Youngstown Foundation's Amphitheater. What times everything start tonight? Right. So it's scheduled at seven o'clock, but we want everybody to know that the music, the live music starts at 630. I would also say, anybody who's hearing this, um, in this, in Youngstown, if you've driven downtown, um, getting here with the, with the road closures <laughs> is no joke. So <laughs> I would say um, go, come sooner rather than later because um, it's a little bit of taking a little bit of work to get here. That's not to discourage you because, you know, Ohio, they're not, they don't, uh, people here don't mess around. They can do this. Oh um, yeah. You know, we driven in right. like, we driven in feet of snow. I mean, I we, know, we, and, yeah. And you look at the dog, you look at the dog pound, those, you know, the France fans are no, are no joke. So yep. <laughs> yeah. So, so this is not a problem to anybody. I'm just saying plan ahead. And yeah, because getting here is a little bit, a little bit tricky downtown with road closures. Yeah, I think um, we've been experiencing that all of our lives in Ohio with orange barrels. Right, right. Thank you, Steve, for joining us. And if you guys need any more information, please go to uh, their website, GodLovesYouTour.com, and you'll be able to find all the information. If you miss Youngstown, there's still a couple other opportunities to uh, go and reach out to their their staff or anything that they can help you with. And they'd be happy to do that. Steve, thank you for joining me this morning. I hope you, uh, you have a great show tonight and uh, a safe tour. Thank you. God bless you. Thanks for having us on. Thank great you everyone. Time. For more information, please go to spamtheneed.com. Have a good day.